Maddie. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. And I hope you guys enjoyed my day in the life of a work working type 1 diabetic sort of. Um, kind of an odd day that I had to stay at a hotel just because of how bad the weather was. And that was the first time I've ever really decided to do that. Um, I just... Going when I went through with my accident, I wasn't going to take any chances. And the roads actually were pretty glassy again. And a lot of car accidents. And they were really bad by me that morning. So I'm thankful I stayed down there. Um, but I kind of hope you got an idea of what it's like for me to go to work kind of every day and what my routine's kind of like, what I kind of do. It's nothing really exciting. I am pretty ordinary. I don't really do much other than work and pay my bills and that's about it, right? Um, I have side hobbies like, of course, YouTube. This is like my small business. And then I have like, I do a lot of artwork. Um, I obviously have my pets to take care of, which again, if you see a famous tale, you know who's in here. Um, but anyways, that's basically how my life goes. And today's video it was again another down diabetes related video and I can't believe it's actually here again. Um, way back in December I gave you guys a unboxing video for the Dental Hygiene Nation subscription box and I have a whole year's worth that I paid for and um, I wanted to let you guys know if any of you have purchased it and are stumbling across this video as hygienists or dental professionals and have purchased this box. I believe the price went from 30 per Quarter, quarterly or $30 quarterly to 35 just so you are aware um, I think the cost of everything is going up and that's just part of the reason why everything is kind of slowly inflating a little bit but if you aren't aware or didn't see the email um, starting with the summer and the winter boxes for this year so the other half of this year there will be um, an uptick in charge for everything so Anyways, with that being said, I'm actually kind of shocked that March is here and I was kind of like kind of forgot about this that I bought for myself and then all of a sudden I get an email saying like, oh, there's a package delivered and I'm like, oh, what is this? And oh, Dental Hygiene Nation. So I'm super excited to open the spring box for Dental Hygiene Nation's D4910 uh, Spring 2022 edition. This is their first box, um, subscription box of 2022. They got a lot of nice, cute looking spring themed things here. Again, I'm going to go ahead and cover up my address, but you can kind of tell there's lots of different cute things on here. And then, of course, on this side, it says Dental Hygiene Nation. So hopefully I'll be able to open this pretty smoothly. So I'll open this box and show you exactly what's inside. I have not opened it yet. I didn't even look online to see if they released what was in this box. They typically will release things and kind of give an explanation as to why they chose these items. And I did notice on the website, if you go there, you can buy the items that, some of the items that were sent in a subscription box for those of you who don't have the subscription or um, that's something that you can't do right now or aren't able to get on. I said I was on a waiting list for, gosh, at least six, seven months, if not a year before I was able to get this. So it's kind of nice they offered that ability to purchase these items um, if you want to without having the subscription. So... Anyways, with that being said, we'll open this box and see exactly what's inside for spring. I remember last time, I think the packaging was also really bright and kind of summery and it was winter themed, but that was their whole point, I guess, was to make things a little bit brighter and I guess more cheerful than dreary winter. So at least this box was open, easier to open than the last one. So I opened it up and the first thing you see, this time they have pink tissue paper. And of course, if you pull this open and then it gives you a little reading piece of information which I'll go ahead and read here it says bloom into you it is our first box of 2022 we'd like to set the tone for some new product launches coming this year hint hint wink wink cute dental hygiene nation is here to prep you dental pun intended with items that you can use at work um if you're prepping it's kind of the the joke to like prep an area for work so that was their joke behold our spring floral themed box this box will set you up for success and help you bloom into your best dental self we hope these floral prints brighten your day even on the rainiest of days. And remember, flowers don't worry about competing with flowers next to them. They just bloom with a little heart. That is so cute. So there's a few different items in here. There's the spill, there's a spill the teeth mug, a floral scrub cap, a blue orchid sport strap, and a floral pop socket, and then a, a Vera Spatter Guard Profi Angle by Young Innovations. I've actually tried these. We've had some at work, so now I get another sample to take to work and use. So Anyways, with that being said, let's actually open these. So the first one I'm going to open is the Spill the Tea mug. Um, and they also give you the breakdown of kind of the prices on here, like what each one costs. And then again, it gives you a QR code to read more information regarding any of the information here. So I'm excited to see what this mug looks like. Oh, I love it. Look at this. 
Look at the flowers! Spill the teeth. Like, spill the tea, spill the teeth. I think this is darling. It reminds me of, like, I think my, either my mom or dad had a set of, like, mugs and plates that were like this that I used to eat out of as a kid if we would, like, go camping or something. And it gives me that kind of vibe. I don't know why. Um, kind of that ceramic, fun, non-traditional, something culturally related vibe. I, I don't know how to describe it, but it's got little teeth and flowers on here and it literally just says spill the teeth um there's some leaves there's some lily pads and again it's very textile looking it's very cartooned um you can kind of look here that's like a very cartoon sunflower and a bunch of other little flowers going on here but this is adorable and it comes in this cute little box i like this a lot um it's got kind of that rounded lip so if you drink out of it it shouldn't do anything to you but this is a cute adorable i can't actually wait to use this it's kind of small um and if i need a lot of coffee or tea i'm probably gonna have to fill this multiple times uh so anyways we'll move on to the next item which is apparently a floral scrub I ordered some really cute scrub caps and i got one for I got teeth ones that I wear to work. I'll put a picture here if I can remember. And the reason why we have to wear scrub caps is since COVID, it just keeps our hair protected. It's probably my least favorite thing to wear. Actually, probably the face shield. I don't really mind the scrub cap, but I also don't really think it's necessary as well because I'm going to go home and shower every night. It's not like I'm going to go to bed with COVID on my pillow. Um, but anyways, I have these teeth ones that I ordered from a website called Tooth Life, the same one that I had showed you guys in my last video. I showed you a golden tooth necklace. I went to this website before I started my job and purchased four different ones. And now, um, I got a fifth one, which, um, I'll put a picture of here from my office for dental hygiene month, which is in October. So then I retired one of my tooth ones and just put it in my bag downstairs. So now I can retire another one temporarily and have... A really cute floral colored scrub cap to wear. The reason why there's buttons here is sometimes you can put your mask over the top if it bothers your ears and the problem is is I used to do that a lot in hygiene school but when you're in private practice I don't have time to like worry about placing my mask in those areas um, so I just leave them behind my ears but this looks like it's plenty large enough I feel like this is gonna be too big for my head because I feel like my head is not that big but I guess I could kind of try it on and see. I have a bun on right now, so it should be pretty accurate. Oh, it will fit. So typically, scrub caps will be a little bit bigger than what you normally do with them. Now, my hair is short enough where I typically will put a small ponytail in and then have my ponytail kind of come through the back. When my hair was longer, I wore a bun that was lower and then it would kind of poke through the bottom here. But even with the high bun, I'm able to keep this on and keep my hair covered. So you typically would tie this and then tie this in a bow and then you're ready to go for work. Um, this is kept on all day. Again, it's to protect your hair. I I don't mind wearing scrub caps. Um, I prefer the cloth ones. In hygiene school, we had these really hot, nasty plastic ones that you would wear in a shower, and it would just trap your body heat. These somewhat do trap body heat, if, especially if it's summer, but I find that the cloth ones are better. So this is a super cute um, scrub cap I can add to my collection. So I now own six beautiful scrub caps, four teeth ones, one from dental themed one from um dental hygiene month in october of last year as well as this new one so super cute the third thing on this list is a blue orchid sports strap so if you hear my cat again in the background she just keeps trying to butt into everything here so this is a oh i get another loop holder ah that's what i thought this was so um i have three different loop straps that I bought from Dental Hygiene Nation in the past. I have a purple one, a blue one, and a pink one, and I kind of interchange for the seasons. Um, what this is, is it slides over my loop glasses, which I'll show you a picture of here, what my loops look like. They're basically a pair of glasses with magnifiers on them that allow me to see really closely in the mouth. So now I can change the strap, which goes behind your head. So if you imagine I put the glasses on, you know, over my head, and then these would hook onto the edge of the glasses, and then you take this and you tighten it behind your head so it stays on um they always have like a little tooth thing at the end so it kind of marks them as dental hygiene nation now these are a little bit different than the ones i have the ones i have are puffier thicker and a little bit more textured this is a little more of a flimsy loop strap with the tooth being a little bit smaller and this is a little bit different too i actually kind of like this strap side a little bit better um i think they built their tooth into their strap adjuster last time so I feel like this is a little bit easier because I have a button I actually can push and play with and my cat is just in love with this. 
Um, so I better keep this away from her. But anyways, this is their Blue Orchid sports strap. So they got lots of cute things here for clinicals. And then this pop socket, which is adorable. And it can go back on the back of your phone. Okay, it's literally a tooth. And the same kind of pattern that's on this mug. I love it. I really love it. Okay, I've got a problem. I love teeth way too much. There's an issue here. Um, anyways, that's the pop socket. Should I actually take it out and show you guys? Because it's darling. I really just love it. So if you don't know, don't know what a pop socket is, but most people should know, it's basically a little device that pops open. So you would put this sticker on the back of your phone case and then it literally pops open so that you can kind of use it with your fingers to kind of hold your phone or kind of prop your phone up if you're watching a YouTube video or whatever the case may be. And then the easy thing to do when you're done using it is just click and it pops back down. I've owned several pop sockets. I have a few in my room that I actually use as hooks. So I kind of like have stuck it to the wall and pulled it out and then I hang light things on it. So pop sockets are more useful than just your phone, but I think I will put this one on the back of a phone case at some point. Um, I don't know if I really want to right away because my phone is like almost two and a half years old and I'm thinking of getting a different one. I'm not hundred percent sure yet. So I don't know if I'll, I'll probably just save that for a little bit. Um, and then the last thing in here is a Vero Spider Guard Pro Fiegel. So if you know, Dental Hygiene Nation is good at sending little samples that you can try clinically. I've actually tried these before and I had a whole bunch in my operatory and I've used them up. What these profi angles are is if those of you who don't know much about dental world, when you get your teeth clean, we polish your teeth typically at the end with your choice of paste. So it's like either mint, usually some form of fruit. Uh, my office has mint, grape, orange, strawberry, or bubble gum polish that you can choose from. And you'd be surprised at the amount of adults that I get that choose things like orange and bubble gum. Um, but you, we hook this up to a little motor that's on our operatory, this little head, and we put the paste on here, and that's what we're polishing your teeth with. This is samples of different heads that I can try with patients. The, um, the difference between the ones I use now, they're a little bit grayer versus these young ones, and I noticed it too, is these are kind of splatter guard proof. There's a little um, brush head that sits underneath the actual angle or the rubber cup tip. So this portion hooks onto the motor right here and there's this little brush head and what it does is when I polish teeth or when most hygienists polish teeth, typically there's always a lot of saliva kind of spinning around in the mouth. And that splatter guard is designed to keep the paste and the saliva from mixing together really well and then spraying it all over. I've had it a couple times where it's kind of gone flying and I'm like, oh, okay, uh, goodbye to that. Um, and then you don't have to keep refilling the cup and it doesn't get all soaky wet. Um, sometimes in between polishing, if it gets really saliva-y in the mouth and there's a lot of moisture, I will kind of take a gauze and I'll push on my foot pedal and get the uh, angle cleaned off again and then grab some new paste and then do the rest of the teeth and then rinse them all off. So the, the, the purpose of these is to be able to guard against that and I'll pull one of them out to show you. So I got these to take to work now. Um, some more of them. I think there's like three or four of them in here. Yeah, they gave you three of them to try. Um, they're disposable and I'm not going to open them because we keep these on until the patient, you know, is seated and then we take them off. But you can see the little tiny brush head guard as well as the rubber cup polisher inside. The rubber cup polishing head. And again, they hook right onto our motors and they do just fine. I've used these before. I like them a lot. Um, and now I get to use them again. These are actually, I like to save these for people who I know are going to be big saliva producers. Or I often will save these for patients with braces or young kids. Because young kids just typically... They're, they always have a little bit more saliva built up. They may not understand what you're trying to do with cleaning their teeth. They may not follow directions the best. And this is the easiest way to keep everything as mess free as possible. So they give you a sample of those to try. Um, and then work sharper, not harder. So they gave me some sort of discount code. Um, American Eagle is actually what we use right now in my office. We've got brand new instruments. This is the brand we use at my personal... Or, or the, that I use at my office, those uh, instruments I'm supplied with. If you guys watched my previous video, I kind of delved into my personal school instruments, which are by Hugh Freedy. So apparently they have given me a, some sort of QR code that if I buy seven instruments, I get three free or buy 25, get 15. And uh, these are the XP sharpened free. We're actually getting more. We have the regular ones that can be sharpened, but I believe we've ordered some sharpened free ones that are super duper 
designed that they don't have to be sharpened. Um, apparently I can buy these if I'd like and keep them, but um, I'll hang on to this for a little while. Um, the offer, okay, that's kind of silly. Why would they say an offer is valid through March 33rd? Um, there's only 31 days in March, but um, just thought I'd let them know that they probably made a mistake on there. Um, but apparently they gave me this to show, so I guess you can kind of see what a different type of instrument looks like. So the American Eagle brand instruments are a little bit different looking than the Euphrati, and then I've also used PDT as well. I mean, they're all great. It's just a matter of keeping them sharp and maintained so that they don't damage anything. Um, so anyways, this is the little dental hygiene subscription box for spring. Um, I'm super duper excited for summer's box, which is going to come in another three months. And again, I love, I just love their packaging. It's so cute. There's always something fun in here. And I actually didn't expect to get like a loop strap and a scrub cap, which are very useful to me. Um, I may actually switch this out when I go back on Monday and I'll give this floral scrub cap a try. So... Oh, and there's actually some sort of little padding up here. It's kind of soft, so it doesn't scratch your head or make your head itch, um, which is super nice. And most of the ones I have, too, also have that little padding up here. So it's like it's not going to be abrasive to your forehead. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know, again, it was more spontaneous and more random dental-related videos. And hopefully I didn't take you off in La La Land. But if I did, I hope you enjoyed. And... If you enjoyed, give it a big thumbs up. Feel free to hit that subscribe button. I post as often as I can about type 1 diabetes plus more. Please stay tuned. I've got a lot more coming out. Um, it's just a matter of getting down to actually filming and editing. And it isn't so much filming the videos. It's taking the time to edit them because I don't want them to be choppy and unable to be understood. So until next time for another video, take care, God bless, be kind, spread positivity, and be thankful. And as Teeth Talk Girl says, peace, love, and teeth, because your girl is dental hygiene obsessed and loves her job. So I will see you guys in my next video. I love you all from the bottom of my heart. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I am so close to 3,000 subscribers, and I don't, I still every day wake up thinking, how in the heck did I get this far with my YouTube channel? It was something that I never had imagined over the course of three and a half years of how far I'd come. So anyways, subscribe if you want to see more interesting videos from me because all I do is sit and rant to a camera. Um, but if not, stick along for the journey and I'm happy to have you here no matter what. So I will see you guys in my next video. Love y'all. Bye. Bye.